Hey YouTubers, this is Rocky Top. Thought I'd show off a few points that I rediscovered here recently. I had a cigar box in the barn full of points that we'd found. Uh, I think most of these were from 2011. We'd plowed up a garden plot, a pretty good sized garden plot right there next to the river and uh, this is what I came up with doing that and just threw them in a cigar box and somehow they ended up in the cabinet and I didn't think about them again until I found the box yesterday but there's some cool ones in there I'll just do a quick little look at them it's cool little point with the bull's eye in it little stem point uh, big sandy it's ground too one of the coolest little pine trees I've ever found I love this one. It's paper thin. It's got the wicked serrations on it. That's a cool little point. Another little pine tree. It's the smallest shape of that pine tree I've ever seen. I've got a big one that's almost a a mirror image of this one just on a bigger scale that's cool like it I believe this one's a Palmer cool little serrations on that one I believe this is a Hardaway Cool point. Uh, stemmed, I believe this might be a Palmer also. It's beveled. Pretty cool point. Another little Palmer with some wicked serrations on it. Cool little point. I believe this is a Fountain Creek. It's ground. Got the archaic flaking on it and got somewhat of a flute on this back side. Definitely a cool little point. Another Palmer. It's cool looking. A little, maybe Russell Cave. I don't know if it, I don't think it's a LaCroix. It just the uh, little bifurcates doesn't look the same as a LaCroix. Looks more like a Russell Cave. This one's definitely a Russell Cave. Cool little points. Uh, Palmer, made out of Rhyolite. Little stemmed blade. That's a cool little find. Little stemmed quartzite blade. A triangle. Pretty well made.
big old quartzite uh, Appalachian. It's pretty thin as far as quartzite goes. Got a nice shape to it. Maybe a little damage there on the base. These are the ones that, I guess, the better shaped ones. I found a bunch of brokes and some with a lot of tip damage and base damage, but these are the ones I put up for safekeeping. Cool little point. It's like a fish effigy almost. And I'll uh, do a recap of the things I found recently. Get you a better look at it. Uh, there's that Morrow Mountain Point I found at the lake last weekend. It's a cool looking point. Uh, this is a find from yesterday. It's the snapped base Kirk. Uh, I noticed on the video that there's a little bit too much shadow to see some of the flaking and but you can see it pretty good there. You can see the base has been reworked. Neat little find. Uh, bifurcated Kirk. It's got some nice looking work on it. It's got a little bit of damage to the side there and a little bit of tip damage. But overall, it was a pretty cool little find. I always like the bifurcates. I uh, found this one a couple weeks ago. The black stemmed knife a cool little triangle and the bi-pointed man this thing looks like it's got paleo flaking on it like it's just very detailed flaking I don't know if it's just a little blade or what. It's got a little bit of damage here on this side. But overall, it's just a cool piece. But anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all watching. I thought I'd take a look at these points that have been rediscovered prior to the YouTube era. And also, uh, the Celt, uh, I went ahead and purchased it. I got a really, really good deal on it, so I couldn't pass it up. But definitely a welcomed addition to the collection. Anyway, guys, I won't take up any more of your time. I uh, appreciate you watching, and hope to have the best of luck on the next hunt. And take her easy.